Okay, it works this time. So what's up? Uh, big day yesterday. Uh, I was going to make a video about it, but then it just kept getting bigger. So I was like, fuck. I'll make a video about that tomorrow. But first, check this shit out. Smash this shit. That's not shit underneath my nail. Those are recently clipped nails. That's fuck. That fucked my fucking fuck so bad. I'm going to say fuck three more times. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Balls. That's an extra one just for you. Anyways, shit on my dicks and balls, my finger hurts. It's I smashed it pretty good with a lawnmower, and you'd be like, how the fuck do you smash it with a lawnmower? Well, I was on a hill, it was going up, the fucking thing popped up, you gotta pull the thing back, push the thing down, pull it back up to get the blades to go, and I push it down, let go, fucking, and that also holds the thing that fucking makes it go forward, so when it came out, it fucking... I just stood there for a little bit going like this. Because I work at churches, and, you know, if I was in a residential neighborhood at some poor schmuck's house and I smashed my finger, I would yell fuck so loud that his neighbors would call the NACPCA. I don't even know why they'd do that, but they would just be like, what the fuck? Oh. But I can't, because I work at churches. But anyways, yesterday, this is how the day went out. This is how it started. 7 a.m. I'm like, fuck. That's when I got to start working. So here's right here. 6.26 a.m. is when I woke up, got my shit together, went to work at 7. And it was a cold-ass morning. There was fucking frost on the ground and shit, like lots of frost, like frozen grass frost. Because it rained the night before. And it's still wacky weather over here in Utah. And, uh... So it was a shitty day, and not only is it like cold, but I'm park mowing, which means I'm on this big ass mower that goes fast. And to top that shit off, I decided to wear shorts. That to wear shorts because you know, I thought you know pants were a thing of the fucking past, but apparently, no. So it's cold and shit. Like I'm actually like fucking shivering, going back and forth doing my lines. It started off pretty terrible, but then things, you know, slowly got warmer, slowly got better, you know, I was listening to a, a Potable Atheist, or Portable Atheist, I don't even remember which it is, but by Christopher Hitchens, it's a pretty good book, I got like, I don't know, two-thirds, or three-fourths of the way through it, and then my fucking, this piece of shit, like this, to get, it, it's like one gigantic file, and to get to where I need to be, you have to just hold down the fucking skip forward button which goes about a minute per second so it had probably taken me three or four five six minutes just holding it down I don't know how long it would take it would take goddamn days though but and then I get a text from my brother saying oh yeah Steve Buscemi he's all on your shit and I was like fucking A so I checked it out and lo and behold and this was at lunch at taco time by the way Steve Buscemi was like, yo, your fucking video is the jam. And I was like, that's sweet. And he's all, you want me to plug anything? And But I couldn't reply to him from Twitter until I got home. I mean, I probably could have, but I didn't actually see that he got a plug. My brother told me that he had picked my shit. I'm almost out of batteries. Fuck me. So anyways, I get a text from Steve, and he's, or from my brother about Steve, and I'm like, fucking A. As soon as, and then I pick up my lunch and go to fucking... I go throw it away and I'm going to go back to get my drink. This hot ass girl comes up and she's just like, hey, can I feel your dreads? And I was just like, uh, okay. And not, she wasn't like, man, man. She was all, <sighs> then got the second hand into it. And I was just like, god damn. And she's all, is this your real hair? And I'm like, opposed to my fake hair. Because, you know, when you're talking to girls, you just got to talk to them. But when you're talking to hot girls, you got to like tease them and make fun of them and shit because no one else does that shit to them because they're hot and they usually get worshipped. So you just make fun of them and shit. Not like you're a fat whore making fun of them. But, you know, just call them out on the stupid shit that they say. And they do stay, say stupid shit. And she seriously was like asking me about questions and petting my shit probably for 30 seconds before I was like, are you about fucking finished? And, now, and I didn't want her to stop, but you just got to say shit like that to be a badass. And I'm a badass. So, so it was pretty cool, and then I was like, man, that was fucking sweet. We go through the rest of the day, kind of plateaued, and maybe a little, dropped off a little bit of the fucking badass level of the day. So it starts off, it's like, 
wake up at like 7, I'm already right here, and then it's fucking cold, and then it kind of got better, and then boom, lunchtime, and this is right about where we're at, right here. Now, I was like, fuck, okay, that's cool. Um, and I get home, and I check my shit, and Steve Buscemi's like, yo, you want me to plug your shit? And I was like, yeah, plug my YouTube channel, man. And so he fucking was like, yo, check out OMG is Lucky on YouTube, blah, 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 and he fucking threw up the link. And I was like, I was so fucking stoked. I was like, hell yeah, this guy's got like 50,000 plus subs or followers. I'll get some shit, you know what I mean? But right when he fucking did that shit, YouTube was like, yo, we're going maintenance style. So anytime you want to comment or rate or subscribe or fucking do anything at all, go show it up your ass instead. And I was like, god damn it, YouTube. This was my, this was my fucking shot. I hoard myself out to Steve Buscemi. I gave him my virgin asshole for what? For what? Whew. Yep, that's all I did today. Catch you on the flip. Wait for it, 606. Blood out.